late thirties, black hoodie, using a nice silver on a stick. Do you like them for fast contacts with Jason, the next person at nine fifty four here to fall. So check it out. What's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. The channel of many things, you know. I love to work on cars. I'm an AC tech. I love to chill in the kitchen and make a great dinner. And I just figured out what a raspberry pie is. For those that don't know, it's like a mini ch it's like a little chip that is a mini computer. You have to program and do the things that you want to do with it. Um you know, this one is my little mini computer and screen. What I have on it is live police action, which is kind of cool. Um, I also made a video game with an older pie I bought off OfferUp. I bought this screen for $17 on Amazon. Watch, listen. Emergency 901 West Kings Avenue, 16,400 North Lane, 32 I mean, Bluetooth through the Bluetooth speaker, and it's pretty easy. So what I did is I did everything I was supposed to do, putting in the Raspbian um, computer stuff in here, just following some YouTube stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, pause it and do what it said, type in some stuff. I mean, you do got to have a keyboard and a, and a mouse to set this stuff up. I'm not here to teach you how to set up the Raspbian on the raspberry.com um, or anything. But what I did is um, once I downloaded... The, the the operating system, I guess is what it's called. Um, you connect your stuff to your Wi-Fi and all that. And you go into the little world there and you type in live police. And right away it came up Phoenix. So um, broadcastify.com is what it's on. And what I did is when I went to that page, um, I hit the bookmark. So every time I turn on my Raspberry here, I go to the internet, hit the bookmark. With my fancy little pen here, you know, it'll be over here somewhere. Hit the bookmark, and the exact page that you went to will be on the bookmark. So every time I go online, I just hit the bookmark and go straight to this page and hit play is all I got to do. But at first, I did have a problem with connecting my Bluetooth speaker. Um, I did all kinds of stuff, and I ended up losing the start menu. I lost the world internet. So I had to erase everything and kind of start all over again rebuilding the operating system letting it download and getting in there and coding how to put the screen on and that was kind of kind of a pain in the butt but once i did it a second time it was all easy to do the bluetooth so what i do is you go into uh, you'll have to use your mouse and right click on the volume there and you'll be able to use the 3.5 jack for headphones or the Bluetooth that you try to connect already will show your speaker and you'll have to check mark your speaker area there. And then all of a sudden, you know, it, it connected and we have um, we have a working system here. That was the easiest thing. I've seen another guy build this whole thing so you can have I mean, I'm not from Chicago. I'm not from Detroit. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. So I really don't care to hear something from Chicago and make a push button to where it'll you know, go to New York or, 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 or anything else. Um, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear my live Phoenix, and I just want it to stay on one channel while I'm building and playing or gaming or whatever it is that I'm doing. I don't want to hear it scanned through all kinds of different channels to where you actually miss what's going on. So um, very easy to do. Anybody have any questions, you could definitely uh, make some comments. And, uh, yeah, Raspberry Pi is pretty fun.